God doesn't want your routine. Don't get me wrong, he wants you to read your Bible, he wants you to pray, but it's the intent in why you do it. If you don't know, I love going to the gym and I decided to take off the last four days. I told myself, God, I wanna get closer with you within these next four days. Within the first three days, I didn't even open up my Bible once. I felt so unmotivated and I felt so guilty for not opening up my Bible within those few days. I decided to take a rest from the gym just so I could have more time with God and I used none of it for God. But it's because of the way I viewed it. I viewed it in the way of, I have to get closer to God within these next few days and make it a routine. My routine recently has just been reading a chapter a day. Then yesterday, after three days of not opening up my Bible, I didn't even read an entire chapter. I actually read half a chapter. And I believe I got more out of that than I ever did out of reading a chapter a day because it was about the intent, not the routine. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them for your father knows what you need before you ask him. He just wants to hear from you. He doesn't want you to do it out of the intent of, oh, this is a routine. No, he wants to hear you intentionally because once you do it intentionally, there's actually a reason behind it. There's actually a heart of desire for him, seeking him. And you'll see a lot more change than going out and just praying because you have to pray. You could pray eight times a day and it could just be you babbling on. I could pray eight times a day and just doing it in a routine. There's not going to be any change out of it. There's not going to be an actual connection with me and my heavenly father. I could pray once a day and I could actually have a, an actual relationship with my heavenly father. As long as it's through intent and not routine. Don't forget, there has to be an actual reason for you going and doing these things. Don't just go and read your Bible just because you need to read your Bible. Go and read your Bible because you actually want to go read your Bible. Go and pray to your Heavenly Father just because you actually want to be closer with your Heavenly Father. Seek Him. Don't seek routine. Now, actually, I went to the gym today and I actually discussed this with a couple people. I would go up to them and go, hey, have you read your Bible? And they'd say something like, oh, dude, I've been trying to. I've been, dude, I have to get back into it. And I told them, do not tell yourself you have to go and read your Bible. Go because you actually want to read your Bible. And that goes for me too. Once you actually have the intent of wanting to read your Bible, you're going to go do it because you actually want to go and do it. You actually have a motivation to. You actually have a reason to. Go and seek your Heavenly Father. Do it with intent. Do not do these things in vain because then it will just become routine. I was telling someone else about this at the gym that, oh, you have to intentionally go and do it. And dude, when I said this, it gave me literal chills. I was like, whoa, this is a very powerful message. Do not go seeking your Heavenly Father out of the heart of routine but do it out of the heart of intent. If you go up to someone and you actually want to talk to someone versus actually having to talk to someone, that conversation is probably gonna last much longer. That's the exact same way we are when we pray with, with intent to God. That's exactly the same way what happens when we actually intentionally wanna read our Bible. We're actually going to absorb some information. We're actually gonna learn more about God. We're gonna learn more about Jesus. Go, read your Bible, go pray, go tell someone about Jesus with the intent of actually trying to seek your Heavenly Father and you will see that things will start to change. Anyway, God bless.